All right, let's talk about the numbers of good pairs. So you're giving an array nums and return a number of a good pair. So a pair is ij is called if nums i equal to nums j and i is less than j. So let me draw a diagram. So if you know that there are how many ones, there are three ones, right? And there are how many two? It's only one. And then how many three? There are three, two, right? So in this question, you know, like the combination for three or one, it should be like what? Uh, this is one, another pair, this is two, and also this pair, which is three, right? So one, you, you have three pairs for two, for three, you have only one pair, right? So this is basically one. So three plus one equal to four, right? And uh, let's go to the example two, and then you will be able to understand what's going on later. And you have four, four ones, right? So let me, let me just draw the picture. So this is one pair, two pairs, three pairs. And then this is, uh, this is another. So how many? One, two, three, four, five, right? And then six. And then this is the last one, right? So the total is six, right? So uh, if you know the math, it's actually what? Four times three divided by two. So it's going to be what? This is actually uh, 12 divided by, by two. It's going to be six. And this is the answer. So uh, I can use the easy ways, just using the hash map. And then when I traverse the entire map, uh, entire nums, and I just keep the count for the nums. And then later on, I will traverse again, just to re uh, return the, the peer value. So I'm, let me just put this. So integer, integer, map equal to new hash map. And I'm going to traverse the entire nums in nums array. So uh, I can just actually use map.put and then put in num. If there is not, if you, I mean, if you didn't put into the map, you can use map.get or default, num is zero plus one. So you just keep adding uh, one to the to the current number. So if you don't have it, then it's initially by zero, right? So I'm going to just create a result value and I'll have to traverse the key set, right? Map.key set map.p set and I will create an, uh, a val for my map.get key okay so if val is actually greater than one which means there's at least one peer right at least so you can use the map uh, I mean map so it's just uh, uh, return value plus equal val times val times val minus one uh, minus one divided by two and when you return you return result right this is the return value and this is super easy so let me just quickly go through the time and space complexity this is going to be space this is going to be all of n this is going to be all of n for time because you have to traverse every single num in the nums array so this is all of n and there's a there's a, another solution, and you can use this uh, use a similar idea, and let me copy and paste. So this is going to be a counting array, but you have to have the uh, the space of hundred and one because you can only store hundred and one space, right? So you will have additional uh, extra space to store if you compare to the hash map, right? And this is definitely all of them for time, and this is actually keep adding the peers number be honest so basically like the peers i mean when you traverse to the array right you can actually know there's a peer so you just keep adding and three and then three plus two is actually uh i mean two i mean two plus two plus two right two plus two is actually equal to four so uh at the end you just what just return uh four in this case so there are definitely a pro and cons. This actually looks um, shorter code. So it doesn't matter, it's up to you. So the time and space should be the same, but compared to the answer, I would like to use this idea. 
this is because it makes more sense to me right and this would be a solution and if you like it please leave a like subscribe and then i will see you next time bye